minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, command engine start, 2, 1. oxygen as the propellant. It's a nice, not just clean in terms of uh, beautifully performing, but what comes out of it, it's steam, right? Whew. To see the, to see the, 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 the glow of the, of the engine underneath the rocket just under our shoulders and to know that we've got a crew that is going to space, it, it, it just feels different, doesn't it, Gary? It is totally different. <laughs> All right, you can follow along, of course, the speedometer in the bottom left, the altimeter in the uh, middle of the screen there. So far appears to be a nominal flight. All right, coming up here on Miko, main engine cutoff, that will be followed shortly by separation, and at that point, after separation, we're gonna uh, let the, the astronauts unbuckle and take in the freedoms of zero G. There is Miko, main engine cutoff, a beautiful shot down the New Shepard rocket. Look at that view. Unreal. Awaiting separation here. And here we are, you can start to see, stand by, you're gonna see the separation of the capsule from the booster itself. Out the window. Holy kid God. Oh, wow. <laughs> and there we go. Our astronauts have passed the Carmen line at about 328,000 feet, continuing their ascent. You see the two vehicles there. When the speed hits zero, you know that they've hit Hapagee, their maximum altitude, and you hear they're having <laughs> quite an experience. Okay, I'm gonna talk back. One minute warning. One minute warning. Go. 
First step, dance check. Astronaut Oliver. Astronaut Demo. Astronaut Demo, Copy, Astronaut Bezos. Everybody for joining us live for our first human flight on New Shepard. So far, a nominal flight. Our booster is about to return to its landing pad. There we see engine relight. The sonic boom. Shepard.